Hello you guys, welcome back to the channel. I am Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio and I talk all about branding, design and creative entrepreneurship here. So if you are starting your own creative business, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now in today's video, I am creating a tutorial that is very much loved on this channel, which is how to create a digitally fillable PDF but instead of designing it on Canva today, we are going to be designing it on Adobe InDesign. So if you are a fellow designer friend or you just don't use Canva and you prefer using the Adobe Suite, then this is your tutorial to up-level your PDFs into an interactive PDF with Adobe. Let's get started. All right, welcome to my laptop. I have my Adobe InDesign open right now with the, just like a PDF design that I've created just before I film this video. So this could be anything, it could be like a workbook or a worksheet or a contract that you're creating. Um, but basically uh, design it all out, have a title, have your different questions and create, um, you can either um, for the form fields, either create a colored box like this, or even um, do like an outline box if you want. So maybe I will do an outline box and make it like green. And I'm actually gonna save this color right here so I can match it. Maybe make that a little bit thinner. And then I'm gonna do the same with this one. So you can either have a filled in box or have a non-filled in box. It doesn't really matter. Um, or you can use like, you know, underlines like this. So I just did the uh, underline right here and added, kept adding them until we get to the end here. Um, or you can even just create a line if you want like this. You can create a line here, hold down shift to keep it straight and that's a possibility as well. Um, but I'm just gonna remove this right here. And then if you want to do check boxes, you can also make those interactive. So you can add your check boxes here um, as well as add like links. So maybe I want my website to be down here. So you can go ahead and add that text box um, and then make it um, just gonna put this back to essentials and I'm gonna make this center aligned, um, aligned to the middle of the page and then just make this box and there we go. All right, so let's just say you have your design done now and you are ready to make this PDF interactive. So there are a couple of places where we would like to do uh, that. It would be right here. So this is your question and this is the box where they can answer like a multi-line text here, same as this one. And then these are like single line text. So there's a name, email address. Right here, I'm hoping to create some sort of like a drop down. So there's a selection that they can do, like maybe an age range, um, as well as here as well. I also I also want this to be like a drop down with different um, choices for education, so they don't have to type it in. And then this one is obviously check marks, so we'll have to make these into check marks, and then this into a hyperlink. All right, so let's get started. So first off, I wanna change my view here from essentials, which is usually the default, to interactive for PDF, because this will then open up a couple of different views here that will be helpful for making this interactive. So the first one here is this box. So you wanna select the box um, that you want to create make it interactive and then you're gonna click on buttons and forms right here. So there are a couple things that you can do. You can do buttons and check boxes and you know, lists. But for this specific one, if we wanna do a multi-line paragraph, um, it is a text field. So I'm gonna choose text field. Um, and then I'm going to, uh, there's a couple of ways to make this active. Um, the most popular one is on release or tap. So if you click on it, then it will make it uh, able to type into. Uh, so we're gonna keep that. And then we wanna make this printable. So in case if someone wants to print this out um, after they type into it, it will show 
Um, so we want to make sure that that is printable and multi-lined so that they are typing uh, multiple lines um, and also scrollable. So if let's say they want to type more than what's given here, the space is given here, they can still keep typing and then they'd be able to scroll through the answer as well. There is also um, a choice to make it required. So if this was a contract where they need to submit it back to you, then in order, uh, if you check this, then they are required to fill this out before submitting it to you. And then you can choose your um, font here. I'm just gonna choose like the most popular, like Minion Pro, like everybody has Minion Pro on their computer or even use Times New Roman or something. But I typically like to make the text uh, smaller just so um, you know they can see more of the text on the page so usually I go from around 8 to 10 so I'm gonna put 9 here and then I'm gonna make it like regular um, so that's it so all you have to do is that now you can either name your field here now so you can name this like question one let's say this is very important to actually do name um, because you'll see that in the next box here um, we can either do that all over again which so you would go click on this thing and then click on buttons and forms or you can just copy and paste it over so you can either uh, hold on to option and then drag it over and now you have exactly the same settings um, that you want. So it's exactly the same type. So it makes it just super easy. You don't have to redo all of the different settings, but it's so important that you make sure that the name is different. So um, right here, this is still question one. And then, uh, well, Adobe, uh, Adobe InDesign was smart enough to rename it for you. So you just need to make sure that this is renamed to a different title because if it is the same name, when someone types into one of them, it will also appear in the next box that has the same name. So just make sure that they are named differently. All right, now we're gonna do these one line text. So um, because this one doesn't have a box, it's just lines, we're gonna have to create a text box there. So we're gonna go into this little rectangle frame right here and create a space here um, where they can type in. So with that there, I'm going to go back to buttons and forms and I'm going to add text field again. And this text field this time is going to be, um, make sure that it is not multi-line because there's only one line there. Um, I'm gonna name this to name. Um, and then you wanna make sure that this, um, all of these settings are correct again. So nine regular um, scrollable. So if it is going to go longer than this, then it is still scrollable, which is good and printable. All right, so that looks good to me. I'm going to then again, copy these over to the next line because it will be using the same settings um, right over here, as well as for this one. So these are also one line text. This one in particular, I'm gonna drag it over all the way to the end. And you just wanna make sure to rename these. So this is email and then the rest of the settings should be fine. Um, and then this one is address. All right, so those three are done. Now we want to create um, a scroll down here. So we want some options. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna create that text box again into the space right here. And then instead of doing text field this time, we're gonna do combo box. So there's actually two ways to do kind of like a list format. So I'm going to do both so you can see what they look and how they look differently. So the first one is combo box and this one will actually like, like drop down a list and you can see all of them after you click into it. So uh, I'm going to call this age range and then you need to create your list. So let's say we want to do like zero to 18, um, 19 to 30, um, 31 to 50, let's say, and then maybe 50 plus or something. So that's your list. Um, and then we wanna change the text again. And 
and then that is it. So that one looks good. Now we're going to create another one uh, right here for education. And then we're gonna want to name this one. Instead of combo box, you can also do list box. So it's pretty similar, but there is slight differences. You're gonna be able to see all of the options at one time with this one. So again, we're gonna create our list. So we have um, education is probably like primary, um, secondary, and um, maybe college or university, whatever you want. And then maybe like post-grad. Okay, cool. We wanna make this nine. Um, and then we wanna rename this to education. Okay, so those look good. Just make sure. Um, so if this is a, if you wanna allow it to have multi-selection, then you're gonna to want to click on multi-selection here. Uh, but because you can only fit into one age group or fit into you know, your highest education in one group, then I won't be checking this. But let's say it's like, what are the different social medias that you're on? Then you wanna have like a multi-selection here and you want to select this one right here. So in this case, I am not. But for list box, this one's actually gonna show more um, options. So I actually need to make this box a little bit bigger so then I can see all of the options at once. Um, it's okay if it overlaps like this, it's only when it's selected that it will show it all the way down here. Okay, so we have these done. Now we wanna make these into check boxes. So I'm gonna hover over one of them and then we're going to make this a checkbox. And as you can see here, um, the checks box currently looks like this, which I don't really like the look of right now. So you can actually go in and like click on the different um, and just like make it look better. Like let's say I want again that like green color for the check box. I think that looks better. And then for this one, maybe it looks a little bit too thick. So I wanna make it a thinner, maybe I'll just make this um, like a, a green as well. There we go, I think that looks, um, let's say, you know, more branded. Um, and then we're gonna actually um, copy and paste this over. There we go. And then I'm gonna delete these as well, and I'm gonna maybe, um, just copy all three of them over. So it's just a lot faster that way. I'm gonna hold down on option again and drag these over. There we go. And just, we wanna make sure that we are naming all of them correctly. So as long as they all have different names then we should be good. So two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, so, uh, Adobe InDesign didn't used to rename these boxes automatically, uh, but they are renaming it now. That's probably an update that they've done. Uh, so it makes it so much faster. Um, so that's great. All right, so next up is I wanna make this a hyperlink. So I'm actually gonna right click this and I'm going to go to hyperlink. So um, by the way, one other tip, if you wanted to just um, make something interactive without going into this box. You can actually do it right on the right click as well. So if you right click something, you can also find interactive and then this same um, box will pop up. Um, so anyways, for this one, we want to do a hyperlink. So this one is a URL to madeonsundays.com, which is my website. And we're just going to click on OK here. And there we go. So all of this should be good now. I am then going to export this PDF now. So we're gonna go to file and export. And um, I'm just going to name this completed just so we know which one is which. And it's so important that you export as interactive PDF because if you uh, export this to a regular PDF, it's not going to um, make all those interactive fields 
um, show. Um, and then you want to look all the way down here. These can be all the defaults, no problem. Um, you're gonna look down here and just make sure that this is checked, include all forms and media, uh, and then you want to export it. All right, we have the document open now, and then we're going to click into each of them and just see if they all work. Hello, example, and we're just gonna do this so we can see that it continues scrolling, perfect. That's awesome. And then this is going to be the same, obviously. This will be your one line text. And then we have your email, um, whatever it is. Um, and then you can also type in your address. Um, and then right here, we have here, which is the combo box. So you can basically click on this and it'll show the selection. This is actually my preferred um, list option. So this is the one that I would usually do because it's, it's more clean this way. And then this one will show um, all of the selection at once. So you can click on whichever it is. Um, this is the list box. So I don't prefer this one, but it's an option there as well. All right, so next, next is your check boxes. So I'm just gonna put my head here and then now you can click on these and it will uh, allow you to check the boxes. And then last but not least is your website here. So if you click on it, um, it opened up into my different screen, but here it is. Um, it's opened up into my website. So there we go. That is how you create an interactive PDF on InDesign. And that is it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. And if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you so much for learning with me today. And I can't wait to see you in the next video. Bye.